Hey guys, what is up? It's Wolf, your one and only, coming at you guys with the Samurai class for Dragomot Hunter. And so, we're going to be doing a video a little bit different. We're going to try and shorten it for those who didn't like it being at least 10 minutes long. It's still going to be 10 minutes long regardless, at least. But still, they didn't like it when I kept repeating the cooldown over again just to let it sink into you guys' head and let you got and make you guys like look at the cooldown a little bit more. So yeah, we're gonna shorten it down for those who didn't like that. So let's get into it. First up is our basics. One, two, three. Now none of these attacks hit twice or three times. One, two, three. All right, time to get started with our first attack, which is Slash. It has no buffs or debuffs. Our second move is Backhand Slash. One, two. Backhand Slash gives you 20% damage increase and greatly increases your attack speed for six seconds. And your final att attack, one, two, three. This is called Impale and it resets your cooldown for Blade Fury. While also giving you a buff of crit damage 30%. Now, let's move on to Blade Fury. Blade Fury is a skill you have to hold down and it depletes your SP. Now, I want you guys to be careful because you can start this skill and it can immediately be cancelled if you let go too soon. Like it can easily be stopped even before a blade comes out. So be careful guys. This skill puts on a debuff and that debuff slows the target for 20% and the cooldown lasts for 12 seconds. You remember that depletes your SP. All right, guys, we're getting into our advanced skills and our first advanced skill is called Crescent Slash. Crescent Slash sends out a little projectile that hits anything in its path. This is also non-affected by super armor, just like Blade Fury. As you can see, it attacks anything in the line of sight. And it also has no buffs or debuffs. And this skill goes on cooldown for six seconds. All right, guys, our next skill is called Cyclone Slash. Cyclone Slash sends an enemy into the air and while they're in the air, you can still hit them. You can potentially go into Cyclone Slash to Blade Fury while they're in the air. This skill has no debuffs or buffs. It only sends their target into the air and it's on cooldown for 8 seconds. Alright guys, our next skill is called Moonquake. Moonquake is a skill that hits in an AoE in the 360. As you can see, it hits all around. So, it has no debuffs or buffs to it. It's just a normal AoE hit. And this skill goes on cooldown for 6 seconds. Alright guys, our next buff is a personal buff, which is only for you to use. It can't go to other people, and plus this one's actually shorter than the other ones. This one is called Sharpened Senses. Sharpened Senses gives you a 5% attack increase and greatly increases your attack speed for 60 seconds. And this skill goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. All right, our next skill is called Cyclone Blast. Cyclone Blast is probably your only gap closer you have with Katana. As you can see, Cyclone Katana is a really good skill for gap closing. And it also comes with, okay, you can stop following me. Thank you. 
Cyclone Blast deals additional damage equal to the damage of a caster's attack for enemies knocked in the air. And this skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. So remember, it's a really good gap closer. Alright guys, our last skill for Katana is called Annihilation. Annihilation just sends out a little projectiles but does not hit as its animation is going. Those projectiles are the only thing that are actually that actually have hitbox on it. So it gives a debuff of decreasing the target's movement speed by 35% and it goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. So during this little animation, it doesn't do anything until the projectiles come out. So now we're gonna head on over to the Halibird. Now the katana is, is great for DPS and Halibirds is more ranged to uh, damage. So with that said, let's get on to the twin Halibirds. Alright guys, we're moving on to the Halibirds. So the Halibirds string combo is one, two, three. Now, let's get into each of the attacks. The first attack is called Whirling Slash. Whirling Slash does hit twice and it has no buffs or debuffs to it. The next one is Crosscut. One, two. Crosscut also hits twice and it gives a damage buff by 15% and it also increases your attack speed for six seconds. Now the final part of your basics. One, two, three. And that is called Whirling Thrust. Whirling Thrust resets the cooldown for Shadow Strike and also gives you increased movement speed by 30%. Now Shadow Strike. Shadow Strike instantly warps to your target and it also roots them for two seconds. So that's an engagement move. So you can really just cheese out on it. Now it's actually good because it does multiple hits. Now the skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds, but can still be reset by its normal basic combo string. All right, our first advanced skill is Harbored Spin. It's an AOE attack that has no buffs or debuffs, but it goes on cooldown for six seconds. All right guys, our next attack is called Blood Cross. Blood Cross gives a bleeding damage over time for five seconds and it goes on cooldown for eight seconds. So during that time, your enemy is gonna be taking damage every second. Wow, he died in the most dramatic way. All right guys, our next skill is called Seismic Shockwave. Seismic Shockwave actually sends out little projectiles after you put it down and it can hit multiple times to an enemy. And not only that, it also puts a seismic mark onto enemy and it makes the enemy more vulnerable to phantom strike for five seconds and the skill goes on cooldown for six seconds all right guys now we're getting into our personal buff the personal buff is called heightened instinct and heightened instinct gives you a crit damage boost by 25 percent and also lasts for just 60 seconds and it goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. So it's actually a really useful buff since DPS and damage is really good with this character. So keep that in mind to always reapply it when it wears off. All right guys, our next skill is called Phantom Ambush. Phantom Ambush actually is a warp skill, but I can't use it because I don't have a target. Now this skill hits multiple enemies. It warps to each different target. Oh, okay, j just j just die. It warps to each target. And not only that, it deals extra damage if an enemy has Seismic Mark on it. So once you use Seismic Shockwave, then you would want to go into Phantom Ambush. Then you would deal extra damage by 60% of your caster's attack. So this skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. All right, guys, our last skill is called Eradicate. Eradicate sends out a little AOE attack right in front of you. And this skill 
does additional damage by 70% of the caster's attack if the enemy's HP is below 25%. The skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. It actually does a lot of damage too, so it's a good for AoE the follow-ups too. Alright guys, the video is coming to a close. Hope you guys enjoyed that and hope it helped you guys out to figure out if you want to play Samurai or not or if it's worth your time. I definitely say it's worth your time. So there are a lot of good things to Samurai and you know, developers, I'm still waiting for Night. You can release that anytime soon. I will keep bringing it up until you guys release it, you know. But you guys will see me around a lot more on my Samurai that is because the gameplay is actually pretty good, I won't lie. I'll be streaming a lot more if I can. If I can't, I'll be trying to upload more videos for you guys. So, thanks for watching. Love you guys. And see you in the next video. Peace out. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And I'm going to be showing you guys uh, another helpful video that will probably help you guys out a little bit more. And I don't think anyone's done this yet. But I'm going to be showing you guys all the skills and each class of what they can do. Um, I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. The videos won't be coming 